John Blanchard um, oversee the farm with tenants on the Ramsbury estate uh, and yeah, oversee the farm and look after the arable operations, young stock and beef. Anthony Mitchell, her manager here for Tom. Um, oversee the dairy, team of six staff, including myself. Dairies at Wolfhall Farm. Um, business has grown from about 900 acres when I came back to the farm 15 years ago uh, to about 1,700 now. Uh, we were milking 150 cows uh, 15 years ago, now milking about 600. Um, we do some arable, we rear most of the, the beef young stock uh, to at least six months. Some of them we finish, some of them we sell to stores. Um, there's arable and we obviously rear our own dairy replacements as well. So the dairy is 600 cows, crossbred type animal, uh, some LIC prehistorically, some Irish breeding and gone back to LIC breeding again. Um, looking for a cow that produces forage into milk and solids and does it reasonably well, copes with the conditions, copes with the environment. Um, yield is at the moment about 5.6 and we're looking to get up to six and a half thousand litres with the change in what we're doing. Um, the herd itself at the moment is changing, so we're in the perspective of being more autumn carbon with infrastructure gone in this year. Uh, the reasons for that is so we are tolerant to drought and we are limiting our stock and rate through the summer and we're not exposing ourselves to any issues. There's a milking platform of about 400 acres, 160 hectares at Wolfhall. Uh, it's predominantly green sand soils, which are really deep and uh, very fertile. Uh, it's pretty much all down to grass, so that, so that we can maximise the number of cows milked on it. Um, there is some fodder beet and maize grown on the on the platform as, as part of our reseeding policy. Um, most of the arable is further away. Some of the some of the closer uh, land on better soils is is uh, wheat and maize. Further away again, uh, there's a lot of cereals and uh, stewardship options with young stock and beef grazing, uh, which works quite well. Um, pretty much all the straw comes back to the dairy, all the, all the spring carvers are housed on loose yards. Uh, we grow a lot of, uh, feed a lot of our own cereals, um, and we're also growing lucerne, making silage from lucerne uh, for the first time this year. On the grazing platform, 90% is concrete sleepers for the tracks. Um, everything is ring fenced and good water system supply. Um, Grazing is pretty much just Italian ryegrass and clover, introducing some plantain and chicory into the new lays as well. Um, going to the cubicles, we've got 320 cubicles, um, with 56 of them being installed this year. Um, separator, lagoons, uh, run to the parlour is a 3672, uh, mainly Waikato with a few other pieces, bits and pieces in there as well. So the team is myself. Uh, Gina, my partner, and four other members of the staff uh, taking the roles of day-to-day, -day, the milking, the feeding, and the, you know, the basic operations in the dairy, with myself yeah, overseeing members, members of the staff and what goes on with the daily operations. So lots of young cattle on the farm, uh, about 300 calves born in the autumn, which are reared at the dairy until they're weaned, uh, and they then move away uh, we split the beef and the young stock and the, and the dairy replacements uh, rid separately. Um, the spring carvers leave the dairy at 48, 48 hours old because there just simply isn't space for them. Um, we rear them at the farm that I live at. We try to sell as many beef calves at six months old as we can. We have our own isolation unit. TB seems to have been a fairly big issue for us in the last few years. Rear all our own replacements and, and quite, a lot, quite a few of the beef cattle as well. Um, making quite a, quite a bit of use of uh, herbal lays to rear them on. That's done pretty well on, on, on a way block of arable land. Short term goals are to drive milk, uh, keep it simple, have a return on investment that we spent this year. We need to capitalise on what we're doing and where we're going and focus on the, the basic things. Uh, getting cows in calf, controlling the block, minimising how long we're calving for. The aim is to be a six week block with a percentage of empty cows to then run into the spring, spring block for replacements in that herd. Two, two, herds, two herds of cows, spring and autumns. Herd average at the moment has come down to about 5,600 litres, averaging 4.6 fat and 3.6 protein. Um, our solids have crept up over the years. Uh, 
15 years ago we were high up at Holstein, so we've, we've tra changed quite dramatically. Um, and now we're finally just move, just about to move on to a uh, solids contract next autumn. The backing of the, the strategic farm was mainly for the, the progress and the forward thinking of the, where the farm's going. The change we made this year and going forward, it will tie in quite well with a three year strategic farm, mainly because it's a sort of a three year operation of where we're going with the change in the system. And I personally think, you know, in the terms of what we're going to get out of it, it's going to be more personal development as well as new ideas, people on the farm asking the questions, maybe making us change on what we are doing slightly and making things better as well as, you know, we can show what we're doing and the reasons why.